New Year, everyone. It's 2010. Um, today is the Rose Bowl, and we're having a chop shop for the Rose Bowl. So, in honor of New Year's Day, and you're supposed to eat pork on New Year's Day, I'm making a pork roast. And over here, I seasoned um, a pork roast, and um, just leave it in an open pan like this, and I'm going to put it in the oven. And um, we're going to cook it for about an hour or so, and then we'll check it when it's ready. And then we're going to move on. I'm going to make some um, pasta here. So I have my sauce in here, and I'm going to cook it slowly in the crock pot, you know, since we've got a long time. Today, we're going to be here all day, the game and all. So here's our sauce, and it's just stirring and cooking up in there. And then we're going to brown our meat for our pasta. And here I've just got some pork because of the whole New Year's Day pork tradition. So I'm just going to keep, I'm going to brown this up a little bit and then we're going to throw it in our sauce and let it all flavor up with the seasonings and all. And we're also going to be making some green beans and potatoes and sausage. Hello? Hey dude, what's up? Not much, what are you doing? Oh man, it's snowing balls out here. Yeah, you still coming for Chop Shop? Ch well, I can't miss Chop Shop, you know that man. <laughs> oh, no, who would miss Chop Shop? <laughs> Who's all there? Right now, Smear Maria. Uh, who else is coming? Strike you know, or? Strike and Karen are supposed to come. But the weather is tough, man. Yeah, dude. Um, what are you guys having? Uh, I don't know. We're actually in the course of making it right now. Can uh, we be told what you're making? Making a um, pork roast, you know, traditional New Year's Day eat pork. Right. I'm making some pasta. Mmm, baby. Yes. And, um, potatoes and green beans. Wow, man, sounds good. I'm trying to get there. Yeah, my mom was cooking pork. I was wondering why she was cooking pork. Yeah, you're supposed to have pork on New Year's Day. Because supposed to be like a good luck thing. It's like a old wise traditional thing that you're supposed to do. Not for Jewish people. And not for Jewish people. Hey. Get here whenever you can. Make sure she's hungry and you better be hungry too. Yeah, we haven't eaten that. Um, was it that thing recorded too or no? Yeah, I got it. I got it all. Alright, okay, cool. Thanks, bro. Alright, man. We'll see you in a little bit. Alright, see you in a little bit. See you. Bye. Bye. You can miss the chop shop, huh? Alright, we got our meat browning there and cooking. While that's happening, I'm going to be baking the potatoes. And here um, are Yukon Gold potatoes, the little tiny mini ones. Um, they're already washed and cleaned and everything. And we're going to make them in a cooking bag. So, just toss them all in the bag. And you're going to want to probably cook it in a casserole dish or whatever. Make sure they're all kind of layered out. And then you season them. Here at the Top Shop, our special seasonings that I use when our meals are not allowed to be disclosed. If you'd like to know what kind of seasonings you can use, just contact me at the Top Shop at Washington.com. Just make it like the yellow comes brown once in a little while.
Make sure it's tight so that it doesn't leak out. Make sure all your potatoes are kind of layered. What you're going to do is you're just going to poke some holes in there so the air doesn't get trapped. And then they're going to go in the oven. And we're going to cook them for about probably... 35 40 minutes depending we'll check them halfway through see how they're going check the meat here see how this is going looking good looking good almost ready to be added to the sauce you'll make sure that your meat is kind of cooked all the way through before you add it to the sauce because really the sauce is already cooked and it's just heating up. They don't want to put raw meat in the sauce when you're just heating the sauce up and not really cooking it down. Now consuming raw meat is not good for your health. Meat's not good at all. It's bad for you. You killed an animal. Yes, food. Alright, here our meat is browned and ready to go in our sauce. We're just going to go ahead and just kind of throw it in there. Get it and stir it in there. Hope that it doesn't spill over. Alright, now we got our meat in the sauce and our sauce will be here and it's warming up and it's cooking and it'll be ready. So then our next step now is um, making the green beans. I'm going to get the green beans and we're going to, here they are actually. I'm going to get the green beans and we have to clean them, string them, wash them, and I'm going to saute them, saute them. Alright, here I have our green beans um, cleaned up. Just cut the ends off, cut any strings that there, there is. Um, so now we're going to cook the um, beans. I'm going to put them in some boiling water here with a little bit of garlic. Just to give it a little bit of flavor in here. Just get your beans and just kind of dump them in the water. Now you got to watch your beans because you don't want them to be overcooked. You want them to be a little al dente. Um, that means, al dente means um, with a little bit of a crunch. You don't want soggy beans. It gets a good boil. And then we'll come check them. Should be okay. I'm gonna take a peek at our pork and potatoes. Mmm, that's looking so yummy.